Welcome back to Shine Divine Art. Once again, uh, we are back with another uh, day of uh, art. And uh, what we are going to do today is a very easy beginner's oil painting. Uh, it was Mother's Day just a little while ago and uh, for a local school, um, a local organization where I teach and uh, instruct. Um, they had an event for Mother's Day where mothers and daughters and sons and whoever interested could come in and uh, have a paint night. And for that, uh, we painted a landscape, a very easy landscape with the lighthouse. And I thought I'd share the process with you so that you can do it at your home also. It, it's like I said, it's a beginner's painting. It's very, 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 very easy. Um, as you see, as you would see that there are no layering processes so much as I would generally do and it's, it would be done in about an hour or so if you work fast, maybe a little over an hour if you work very very slowly and it being an oil painting it's very forgiving so you can change along uh, as you are painting. I hope you enjoy the process. Please share with me if you are doing this painting by yourself in the comment section. As usual, I'll link all my social media presents uh, in the description below and also the materials. Um, don't forget to subscribe because that is the only way to keep track of what's uh, work going on in my art world and what's coming up as tutorials. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'm starting off uh, with blocking the main areas. I have sketched it roughly and starting off with blocking the sky area. With the blue mainly, you can use any, uh, any brand or any hue of blue. I am adding whites as I am going on. Uh, blending in as I'm going on the more I'm coming towards the shoreline I'm adding the more white I kind of want um, the paint color to fade off at the shoreline and that is why I am mixing in more and more white with the blue as I'm coming towards the shoreline and uh, now I'm blocking in the foliage or rather the trees and bushes behind the lighthouse. You can continue it on the other side of the lighthouse as well, but I decided not to on this one. And I'm blocking in with a very dark brown shade um, on the rocks. And I am more or less blocking in all the rocks first with this color with one flat tone and not causing much variations and then I'll come back with lighter shades on top and add some layers of lighter shades and uh, create textures and kind of define uh, the texture of rocks. Now most of my rocks are blocked in as well. Now I'm trying to paint in some easy stormy clouds. The clouds can be done in a lot of details but in this case I'm choosing to be very loose with my clouds all I'm doing is I'm taking a, a stiff round brush and kind of scrubbing some gray color in the roundabout motion kind of giving it a little bit of fluffy kind cloud type of look coming back with a lighter shade of gray with more white mix in and kind of creating a highlight and coming back with the big filbert brush and kind of uh, fuzzing out the sharp harsh lines of the clouds now I'm adding the second layer on my bush with a little bit lighter shade of green I started off with a mix of brown and blue in the last layer this time I'm adding in a little more green and yellow uh, the more layers I add the lighter I go now I am adding in some texture in the grassy area with a stiff round brush this is the way I build up layers now adding in some shadows first 
in the rocks under the grassy area and then I'll come back with a lighter shade of brown later in between the shadows to create some highlights now I'm kind of creating the reflections what I'm doing is I'm kind of dragging the paint from top down and then creating sidewards horizontal lines as well and fuzzing it out blocking some lighter tones of brown and yellow ochre uh, mixing and matching brown and yellow ochre just to get different shades different textures and different color patterns on the rocks and here you can create as many or as few a number of rocks that you want as much texture as you want as much contrast in light and shade you want that's totally up to you up to your preference I'm kind of going midway like four or five rocks in each set kind of that look and wherever I'm putting in highlights in the rocks I'm going under and putting in a shadow as well creating the shoreline defining it rather now coming back inside the bush and painting very thin lines of brown for the branches I'm kind of creating a shadows because I choose that my light source is coming from the left hand side and now I'm blocking in a lighter shade of brown mixed with yellow and white and fading it out into the shadow so that there is no harsh shadow line as well as there is you could say that this is the side that it is lighter and this is the side that is darker I'm creating very thin very sparse few lines kind of give the hint of bricks now I'm kind of uh, painting in the red color uh, on the top of the uh, lighthouse which unfortunately cannot see but then defining the shadows a little bit more blending out some areas as I go on I'm adding in some sketchy lines in the water to kind of show reflections and you can be as sketchy as you want here because that is going to kind of give the impression of the water now with the same brush I'm using some real white highlights on the rocks and there you go your painting is all ready Thank you for watching once again.